guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com, and in this video we're going to compare the internet browsing experience of the Zune HD, a Microsoft product obviously, with that of Windows Mobile 6.5, which is also a Microsoft product. You're going to see that they're very, very, very different, although we may get a glimpse of what's in store for, say, Windows Mobile 7 through the Zune HD. They've done an awesome job at, at de designing this interface to be awesome for a mobile device. So let's take a look. We're going to drill into internet. And the amazing part of the browser on the Zune HD is it's so minimal, yet it works. So for example, I'm going to stop it from loading right now, and I just do that by hitting the X. This is all the controls you have to work with, and yet from this area, you can do everything. So I can enter a new URL by tapping on the URL down here, and I get this keyboard, and we can go into... At least I thought we could go into landscape. I guess we can't to enter in a new address. We can tap and hold on this button to delete the address and go to another site such as, you know, pocketnow.com. And now it's gone into landscape. And by default, it brings up the mobile page of the site you're trying to load. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a setting to allow uh, your device to only show the full site. Let's go back. Now let's say you want to add this to a favorite. You press the star down here, you press add, and it's added. Very quick and easy. And let's say you want to call up a favorite, you press this button, and here are all my favorites. I can tap and hold on any of them, kind of like Windows Mobile, and do delete from favorites. Again, this was achieved without any buttons. Of course, there is a learning curve to discover these functions, but it's amazing how they were able to pack so much functionality in to into so few buttons and in such an elegant interface. So let's take a look at sort of how this compares to the browser experience that we have coming up in Windows Mobile 6.5 with IE6 Mobile. So we are going to go to Amazon on both of these devices and see which one is faster. They're both on the same Wi-Fi connection. Let's do it. Zune HD looks like it's going first, although the status bar is a long way to go. And Zune HD is done. And I think the uh, Windows Mobile 6.5 is pretty much done here. Of course, this is not a final build of Windows Mobile 6.5 that you're witnessing here. This is a beta. Um, actually, of Windows Mobile 6.5.1, so that may explain the slowness. I'm going to stop it there and show you how they kind of compare in terms of rendering fidelity. So of course the Zune HD is multi-touch, so you can kind of pinch like so, like you do on the iPhone or other devices like the uh, G1 or uh, HTC Hero. Double tap to zoom in, it resizes the column beautifully. You can scroll around, you don't get a checkerboard pattern on the screen. Very, very nice rendering. A very pleasant browsing experience. Let's take a look at it on uh, Windows Mobile 6.5. Also pretty smooth. Um, not as good, of course, it doesn't have multi-touch, and I just did a mispress there. I was trying to double tap on a column, and it tried to load it. Um, so you get the point there. And also notice how in Windows Mobile 6.5, Microsoft has put the address bar at the top, and if you press this button, you get a bunch of buttons, and yet the functionality of this browser is about the same as this browser, but this browser does it with much fewer buttons and a real maximization of screen space. Anyway, this is a beta, so you get the point with that. So a very refreshing internet browser in, in the Zune HD. Let's kind of click around and see what else we can do. It doesn't have flash support, and let's go to any one of these pages. And this one's taking kind of a while to load. Here it is. So we can zoom in, of course. And it's not done rendering. There it is. Move around on the screen. Got some blank spots. So it's not perfect. But it's quite good for a multimedia player, especially quite good out of Microsoft. We didn't think that they could build an amazing mobile browser. But here it is on the Zune HD. We're really hoping that we're going to get something like this or even better with flash support and some more functionality in Windows Mobile 7. Now, what's interesting about the Zune HD is that all of the settings occur outside of the programs. 
Whereas in Windows Mobile, a lot of the settings for a particular program are in that program. So there are calendar options in the calendar app. There are internet options in the internet app. But what I think is a really good paradigm, and I think hopefully Microsoft will adopt for Windows Mobile 7, is to clean up the interface, make it more mobile friendly. They put all the settings out in sort of a system-wide area. It's going quite slow right now, as you can see. Okay, and it's over here in settings. Now, obviously, the internet option has very few settings. You can delete history, clear cookies, and um, disable script. But that's pretty much it. But a very interesting idea of putting all of the settings outside of the program to really save on screen space and have a great mobile experience. So that's it for the internet experience on the Zune HD. Very good, not perfect. It doesn't have flash support, which is a big problem. It's not the fastest browser, but it's very nice to see something that's quite usable and even even a little bit cutting edge out of Microsoft. We hope this is a sign of things to come in Windows Mobile Land. That's it for now.